Remember the BLM movement, May of 2020, when every high school girl in America was absolutely required to put a black square on her Instagram page? Remember that? BLM, everyone's for BLM. Mitt Romney marched with BLM. What was that? Well, it was a scam, actually, it turns out. It was a scam, and it really hurt the country. Candace Owens has done an entire documentary on this. It's called The Greatest Lie Ever Sold, George Floyd and the Rise of BLM. For the documentary, she showed up to the gated mansion in Laurel Canyon, Los Angeles, owned by BLM co-founder Patrice Cullors. Cullors then posted a video on Instagram complaining about Candace Owens' reporting. Watch this. So we are headed to Laurel Canyon. We've yet to see any black people in this neighborhood. So there's definitely somebody home. Hello. Um, I was just looking to speak to whoever is at this property. Sir? Hello? I don't know if he's going to get someone. I see a very cute German Shepherd, it looks like. This morning, I woke up to Candace Owens being outside of my house with a news crew. I can't see how this purchase helped black lives anywhere in America. I can't even find a black life on the property. Okay, the dog's not even black, so there's that. And so they're literally trying to destroy us. They're trying to destroy me. They're trying to destroy the movement. And I really, I just need us to be stronger. When you live in a multi-million dollar home in Laurel Canyon, it can be hard. Candace Owens is the person who caused the suffering you just saw. She's the producer of the brand new documentary, The Greatest Lie Ever <laughs> Sold, George Floyd, The Rise of BLM, one of the bravest people we know and one of the smartest joins us tonight. Candace Owens, thanks so much. First of all, thank you for doing this. It's like that whole moment is forgotten. Um, why did you think it was important to make a documentary about it? Because of exactly what you said, because they want you to forget it, right? They do these things, they sort of punch you in the face, and then they move on, and they say, nobody look any further. We're now moving on to a different narrative. It is important yeah. to pause and to reflect and That's to right. consider what happened and ask a very big question, which, for whatever reason, no journalist was interested in at the time. We were all basically required to either put up a black square or donate to Black Lives Matter or to make some, you know, statement online about how black people are suffering to make sure that Black Lives Matter would receive the $80 million that it received in one year. But nobody asked the question, where is all the money going? I was interested because they turned me into public enemy number one for accurately talking about George Floyd, not in the capacity of a hero, but in the capacity of a person who was addicted to drugs and who had a enough fentanyl in the system to kill a horse at the time that he died. That made people angry because people were invested in the emotion of Black Lives Matter. And so, look, I'm wearing the shirt. It is the BLM symbol, but instead I've inserted some cash into it because what they really did is they robbed Americans. They robbed Americans' emotions. They extracted emotions. They used black pain to create confusion and to take millions upon millions, tens of millions of dollars from people. And where did the money go, Tucker? That's what the documentary explores, and people are going to be shocked. I hope people are very behind the transgendered movement, because that's where a lot of this money went, and then there's just a dead trail, because the one thing that you're afforded when you decide that you are transgendered is you can change your name. So you don't know who any of these people were originally, but they received hundreds and thousands and millions of dollars of cash. It's, it's all... I, I, I just can't control myself and note, because I was there and I watched it, you were basically banned from all media, including some conservative outlets, but for telling the truth, yep. the factual, documented truth about George Floyd. You were not allowed to tell the truth, um, which really was, yeah, a, I think, exactly a dark moment. Right. Let me ask you, do you know anybody, apart from the ladies living in Laurel Canyon and the transgenders you just mentioned, any actual, like, normal black person who benefited from BLM? No, absolutely. It's the exact opposite. I can tell you millions of black people who suffered because they now live in the inner city, in the cities that were looted and that were rioted, and therefore the businesses picked up, which my documentary will show. They picked up and they left, because why wouldn't they leave, obviously, if they're basically saying that crime is allowed to take place, and these are zones in which there can be no policing. So these people are now suffering economically, and we, of course, predicted that that would be the outcome because of the BLM scam, which benefited nobody. And there are a lot of questions. In my personal opinion, this was a money laundering scheme, and it is interesting that these individuals, like Patrice Cullors, decided to host a Joe Biden inauguration party at the Black Lives Matter house. Again, all of that is in the documentary. It's stunning. And I do want to add this. My personal charity, after I announced that I was doing this documentary, I wrote a charity called Blexit. We received a letter two weeks after the trailer dropped from the IRS saying that they were going to investigate my charity. I welcome the investigation because I am not a scam artist and I do real work in the inner city communities. This is Biden's IRS once again saying you are not allowed to investigate anything that the media is complicit in.
It's unbelievable. You are a brave person. They're going to come for you at some point, as, as you know. Candace Owens, appreciate it. Thank you Absolutely. so much. Thank you so much. Subscribe to the Fox News YouTube channel to catch our nightly opens, stories that are changing the world and changing your life. I'm Tucker Carlson tonight.